Hello, all you beautiful creatives. Today we're gonna have a little fun with some wooden spoons. So here you can see I kind of sketched out what I wanted to burn um, just with a pencil and kind of drew some straight lines with a ruler so that I made sure that my words weren't at an angle, that they were gonna be nice and straight across. I have found that when you're trying to burn on a spoon, it's just so much easier to draw it with a pencil freehand right on there than trying to put an actual stencil or something on there given the shape of the spoon. That makes it a little more difficult for, um, you know, trying to get everything lined up just right and get that, get that paper or that stencil to lay in there right. So I like to just draw it out with a pencil. Again, this is my first attempt at doing lettering on a spoon. I've done designs before, but doing lettering. So when I first jumped into this, I started out using the V-tip. And it, this tip is pretty universal, but really the reason I chose it for this lettering was because I could very delicately go around the outside of the letters. I don't have to color it in solid, you can see there. I um, am just kind of outlining both sides to get a general idea. This, this really gets into nice, tight, small, delicate spots, and that way I know I'm not putting too much on there right from the beginning. I also started out with my temperature on my machine set at about a four and a half. Um, I didn't want to start out doing it as dark as what I usually, you know, like to burn. I will go back over it and with a with a hotter temperature. So you can kind of see there that it's almost outlined. It's almost empty in the middle. So I I did that on purpose so that I could go back in here now and erase everything. I'm just going to erase all the lines that I had on there from the ruler. I'm going to erase all of the wording that I had on there so that I can really have a good look at what the burn really is. And you can see it's not necessarily consistent. It's not filled in solid. So again, I did that on purpose because as my first time lettering, I didn't want it to get away from me. I figured I was safer using a little lower heat and the nice delicate tip to make sure that it, this didn't get away from me. So now I switch up to the universal tip here and I turned my heat up to about a five and a half because I do want this to be a darker burn so that the, the words stand out. I just didn't want it to be that way right from the beginning. So, um, cause this is all a learning experience guys and taking you along on my journey so that you can learn from my trials and tribulations here and I can show you what's working and what's not working for me. So. It's much easier to go back around with this universal tip, again, set at about a five and a half, and I can kind of lay this tip on its side, I can hold it straight up and down, I can kind of, you know, kind of bend it around because it has a very tiny kind of U-shape to it, so it is great for doing the O's, doing the S's, getting that curve to all of the letters without going outside of the lines, without getting away from me too quickly. Now that I had my basic line on there, I felt a little more comfortable definitely going back in and making everything nice and solid with this. It's also nice to kind of, the, the shape of it, the curve of it, to just kind of add that little extra to say the tips of the S's, the bottom of the O's, the bottom of the D, just to make it a little thicker, make it a little darker, make it stand out just a little bit more. Now I'm pressing very lightly, you don't have to press very hard at all to get this burn when you have the temperature set right. So just putting up some finishing touches on this one here and I had a personal request um, from a great friend who thought that this would be pretty funny, um, pretty funny memory from her uh, uh, childhood. So there you go guys, there is the wooden spoon survivor. And uh, you can see as those letters really pop. So now we're gonna jump on over to our second spoon. You get a two for it today. You get two for one. So this is my next um, comical spoon that I'm working on. And uh, 
you can see with this one, after I jumped into the last one with the V-tip and then moved on to the universal tip, I definitely felt more comfortable just diving right in with this one with the universal tip. Again, that last spoon there, the wooden spoon survivor, was my first lettering on a spoon. So I wanted to start out slow and make sure that I had the control that I needed. But once I knew that I did, I'm ready to jump into the second one and uh, just go for it. Just have my temperature set up to five and a half using the universal tip and just going right around for the burn that I want, giving it um, the thickness in the areas that I want it to be and uh, really, you know, getting the depth, the darkness, the curvature, everything exactly, how, you know, how I want it to be. Um, always make sure that you move your piece around, whatever you're working on. These spoons, for instance, because of the shape of them, they tend to be a little more difficult to get at certain areas. So I'm constantly spinning it around, holding it up and down. Sometimes I'm holding it, you know, the end of the spoon right up against my own my own chest really trying to grasp at a good angle sometimes I have it almost standing on its head um, just spin it around and make sure that you are comfortable as you work on this piece I try to keep my hands out of the way so that you guys can see what what I'm doing here so once I put you know some of these to finish up the last few lines you can really see how I've already really thickened it up and darkened it up in the areas that I wanted it to be as I was going along. So it only took one spoon to kind of gain that confidence and I was ready to rock and roll on the second one. So um, you know, don't, don't be afraid to dive right into this. The spoons are kind of fun, they can go kind of quick. So all I have left is to, uh, you know, dot the eyes. So here we go, ballpoint tip guys, and I'm just going back through and I'm dotting the eyes. And that pretty much sums it up. So as I said before, now you get to see the official shit sir. And um, I'm just gonna say that here you go, here are two awards that I'm sure I deserved from uh, my childhood. And maybe you can relate, maybe you think that this would be a, a great gift or something funny to, uh, you know, pass along. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, be sure to check it out, comment below, maybe I can make you one.